all right boys you already know what we had to do now let's be honest man Rimuru is a character who always appear in the meta every single time every time there's a new meta man Rimuru some way somehow can just appear out of thin air and that's what we're gonna be doing as we have Rimuru hard countering Fatoria in PvP because remember guys Fatoria gives all unknown allies a crit defense buff which let's be honest man Rimuru is going to feast off the buffs because again he steals buffs to pretty much gain more basic stats and then once he gets enough buffs he gets a crazy boost in terms of pierce and then he's able to just blast characters left and right so that's gonna speed up a process of boosting up his pierce rate we're gonna be using this team featuring Hale, Vittoria and also Nanashi Vittoria is just like a support character for us as well because Vittoria will give us that crit defense boost as well and then you know Hell is there to stop enemies for wanting to AoE because if they AoE they're gonna get massive amounts of debuffs from Hell. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again and let's have some fun. Ooh, we got a Fatoria. Look like we about to eat, boys. Eat that buff up. Mmm. Yummy. Yummy like some goddamn Cheerios. Like I said before, like Rimuru is just gonna be there to steal Fatoria buffs. So we're going to infect and then go for AoE, AoE right here. Ooh, good damage, good damage. Now, the only bad part about it is that they do cleanse. That is true, they do cleanse. So you kind of just want to be careful with like how you attack. Maybe you want to like hold off onto Fatoria AoE because you want to protect her the most. Because you don't want her to be gone. But Rumuru should get his Pierce boost right here as well, too. Yep, and there goes Rumuru Pierce boost. And like I said before, man, this is where we just go crazy then. So, GG. Oh! I thought it'd be enough damage. Hopefully, Fatori kills. Oh, she does. I put like my L link on Rumoru. Oh my god, hell got dupes. Yeah, she's yeah, she's gone. Alright, alright. So again, they gonna have debuffs on them. Ooh. So we'll probably want to go for this then. Because again, he's going to like force revive multiple times. Oh my god, I didn't even know he had a rear time link. I thought it was on Albedo for a second. Oh my god. But at least all his revives are gone then. I thought he had it on like Albedo, like usual. At least we gotta have a, uh, our ultimate with Rimuru. If he force revive, that'd be nice for me. Now nah, he didn't force revive, which is unfortunate. So I'm just gonna go for this then, and this. See, it would have been nice to have Fatoria still around, because then I would just like crit right there or something. Dang, I did a little bit too much damage. So I have Rumoru ultimate. And now I have Hail ultimate as well. But if Hail gone, then she's just going to revive. Yeah, she's going to revive right here anyways. So that should be GG. Alright, see ya. Douche. Rimuru, too good, man. All right, this time we got a demon team. 232. Okay, this is a big boy right here. Big boy CC right here. All right, so I guess we can just start off with this and this. Usually I wouldn't try to use like Fatori and stuff like that, but let's be honest, guys. That crit defense buff for Rimuru, an old character, 
is really nice. I can't lie to you. It's really nice. <laughs> Cause I keep just, I, Cause I was literally like, just like looking at teams or characters I could possibly use, and, I'm, and I just keep staring at that crit defense buff. I'm like, this could be so much helpful. Like, look how much damage Rumor just took with the crit defense buff. <laughs> That's why I was like, mm, maybe I should keep this crit defense buff. Because Rumor was not tanking these hits like that. <laughs> but it's GG regardless, man. Um, he's not going to tank all this. Yeah, GG, man. This Rimuru does like really good damage because he can now crit a little bit more frequent because Victoria is just giving him like 50% crit chance, man. She's just such a good support character too. Oh my god. Boys, a Gelda team. Oh boy. Oh, this is going to be fun. I guess the only issue is that um, Gelda can't be infected. That's kind of a, a big issue, but it's a good thing I do own um, yeah, dodge food. Hopefully, I can crit three times right here. Yep, I do. But I have Fatoria, which is really nice that I used her because now I can just blast um, his team with Fatoria, especially Gelda. Gelda is the more annoying character you got to deal with. So it'll be nice to see what he's going to try to do. It ain't like he can like AoE. If he AoE Gelda, then Hell's going to punish her. And that's why I use... um, Yeah. See, that's why I'm using my team like this. Because Hell is for the AoEs. But you see why he's like, keep spamming his single targets. But thanks to that crit defense buff, you can't really do much. And plus, he's also protecting his, um, he's also protecting his, uh, Demon King as well, too. So, I think it should be enough damage. Then we go with Rumor right here. So let's see. Yep. They got the debuff right here. And then Rumor should finish you off right now. Yep, GG, my boy. Unfortunately, Rumor would just blast you with a full Pierce buff. Because he stole, like, the Demi King buffs. So, that's how I got my Pierce instantly. Alright, this time we have a Victoria team, finally. So, we get to snatch those little buffs. Maybe I could just go for, um, this. You know what? We probably can go for... Let's see. Is he real time link on tier? Yeah, he is. So, we can probably go for this then. Go for this. And maybe this. Because the thing is that since he does have Fatoria, he won't get uh, debuffed after this. Hopefully, it's enough damage with uh, Hell. <sighs> that sucks. That sucks that it wasn't enough damage. Yo, tier is gonna blast me. Cause the lower the tier HP is, the harder he hits. So Rumor might be gone. I can't lie to you. Yeah, Rumor might be gone. But Rumor actually tanking pretty well. Cause you got the Nashi buff, and then you got the uh, the uh, crit defense boost. Dang, that was a lot of damage though. So the real question is that we got to get rid of you. Yeah, we got to get rid of you. So we're going to go for a Pierce boost right here. Again, we both crit frequently. So. And I know I don't got no debuff on her on his Fatoria, but it still should do a lot of damage right here. And that's going to be GG, man. 
Man, it's just that Rumoru just feels so fun with Vittoria. Rumoru just feels so fun. Even though it is a counter video for Vittoria. You know. We both doing the same thing. It's, it's alright. Alright, see ya. Oh. He tanked it a little bit. Yep, GG. GG. All right, we got the, oh, just a little enough for me team. But green Escanor, interesting. Um, now this one might be a little bit tricky. Just because of the fact that, um, and I'll just go for this then. Now the reason why I'm aiming for uh, Arthur is because uh, um, he's going to try to stop me from AoEing. Because he's infected right here. So once I AoE with Fatoria, he's, he's done for. Because we created so much. Yep. So with that, he can get his HP back up. The most he can probably think of doing is probably attacking more so with Escanor against my Fatoria. But he has to remove my buffs first. And the thing is that he has to merge. Or he's not going to be able to set up his Chaos Arthur. Yep, there goes his merge to set up for Chaos Arthur. And then he's going to attack. Most likely to remove my buffs, which is not going to matter. Yeah, especially on... Especially with that, because I don't have no buffs to begin with. So with this, we can just AoE spam now. And then Fatoria is going to just nuke his entire team. Because again, his HP on Arthur is already super low. Yep, like I said before. His HP was already super low. And that should be GG. And that's one thing that's really nice with Rimuru is that you get that nice infect. All right, we got a Fatoria team. Lovely. I can actually feel like I'm using Rumoru. And we stole the buff instantly. So we're going to go for this. Um, we're going to use that and then do this. I already know he's going to be like dodge food. Man, he's going to be able to cleanse my debuffs instantly right here. So we're going to let Rumoru take the infect debuff. Which is all fun and dandy. Because he doesn't have his crit defense boost, so we are in a very good position. And if he keeps Rumoru alive, then we can just go for our Infect AoE um, again. Because then we can just waste our, our Rumoru card. But I'm seeing if he's going to actually play more offensive. Oh, uh, he might single target with Rumoru. He might single target Rumoru right here. And of course, that's going to be enough damage. I have so much debuffs on me. But we literally got so many merges on, on us. Like, it's good. Like, hell. Oh my god. Hell has so many cards. Um, I'm actually curious. Like, should I. I mean, it seemed like, yo, should I even try? But it seemed like he doesn't really have any broken characters on or anything like that. So we can just do this and this. He looked look like he went for mostly single targets anyways. I was thinking about nuking his hell. But she don't really do anything anyways. And then we just aim for Albedo then. I think it would be like just better just to get rid of his entire team. Because I, I feel more threatened with Victoria than, than hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. Obviously, Hell can like pop off, but I already had my ultimate ready for a bit now, nah, but uh, Hell who has Rift Army Link, too, mind you. So he has to like at least target Hell more than any anybody on my team. So even if he does that, that's fine because guess what? Victoria is still around, so Victoria is gonna blast his team. 
Torres is gonna keep blasting them left and right. Um, yeah, I could just go for this, right? Yeah, especially because we got that 50% crit chance that Victoria gives us. And then GG. Oh, we got the same guy. Let's go. Need we need it. Gotta let people know I'm actually using um Victoria. Let's go. Alright, so we do this with a debuff. Obviously, hell can get debuffed. At least we crit it multiple times. And then Albedo gets blasted. Uh, he, again, he's going to most likely do the same play. And just have him just target Rimuru for the most part. Which is all fine with me. Again, Rimuru is just there. This is still his crit defense buff that he gets. So if you empty out my hand, that's fine. Oh, he's going after my Fatoria now. Oh, okay. So at least this time Rimuru is going to have more action. Because um he's definitely not going to get rid of me. So we get our instant pierce boost that we're just going to aim for L. Because he has already has so much debuffs on, on you. So we're going to go for this then. Do this. And it doesn't matter who we target it. Oh my god. Look at that damage. Alright. See ya. And then room rule for Victoria. Yep. GG. GG, my boy. GG. Dang, I did this man dirty. My bad. My bad, y'all. Dang, I made him throw his phone out the window. This man's still trying to connect, reconnect. The last match, his internet was perfectly fine. But I don't know, for some reason on this one, now his internet is all buggy, huh? Yeah, GG. GG, my boy. All right, we finally got a Victoria. This is going to be my last match. After searching, it's gonna be my last match with Victoria. Um, yeah, he's gonna go for this then, and then this as well. Since I don't really get debuffed on hell when using my AoE, I'm just gonna use it up. So I hope you guys enjoy with me using Rimuru against all these Victoria players. I wish I could have found more, but it seemed like a lot of pe people are going with the Nafumi team. Uh, just because, again, Nafumi has been recently buffed, so he's been making the KSR3 team a lot more viable, which I don't blame people for actually using the Nafumi team. It's a really, really powerful team in PvP. But then again, I've also been seeing a lot of people use Demons, which, again, Demons are really going to be that team too, because, let's be honest, not everybody just summon on every single collab. So they are going to be players who are going to... Follow the meta, which is going to shift every once in a while. And then they're just going to stick to the same old team. Which, again, it's not a bad thing or anything like that. It ha it definitely happens. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video with me using uh, Rimuru to hard counter Fatoria. Because Fatoria is actually really annoying. Like, when you get... Faced against a really proper, like, unknown team, Victoria becomes a nuisance in PvP. Just because she gives so much support. She gives crit defense, she boosts crit chance, and then all she takes is, like, probably one crit from my AoE to get her, get started, and she blasting your entire team. She is just disgusting. And I love her. And I love her for that. So we're going to AoE right here. Send you to the Shadow Realm. And then Hell, you can end the match off with her beautiful beautiful face. There you go. So yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. This some really guys, and I'm out. Peace.